man. Cut. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we have Jungo trying out the brand new Nova from Storm. So the Nova here has the ignition core, brand new to North America, but it's been on a bunch of balls overseas. And it also features the R2X hybrid cover stock. Today we're comparing it to the Proton Physics, the biggest hooking ball in all of bowling, and also the RST X1. So I'm expecting this ball to hook super early, but I'm still not sure how much. I'm excited to see if it's going to hook as much as the Proton Physics here. And looking at the RST, we know it definitely hooks a lot less and a lot later than the Proton. So it'll be interesting to see how these two match up as well. We got two patterns. We have Mercury on the left lane and your typical house shot on the right lane. So the core and cover are brand new here in North America. Really excited to see how this ball rolls. So let's send it off to Jung. Jungle is back. New storm ball, the Nova. We're gonna compare it to the Proton Physics and the RST X1. High end ball here, so probably gonna roll pretty early. Be pretty smooth, predictable, hook a lot. So this is the host shot. Let's just try and get lined up here. Third arrow. A little better, Swisher 7. You can tell already though, this ball does not like to go left to right. Kind of reminds me of the Zen Master. Slow it down again. Same layout on all these balls. Slow it down another notch. <laughs> okay, four pin, seven pin, eight pin. Oh man. Okay, let's slow it down again and try and leave a nine. Okay, same line, let's slow it down another notch. Not bad, but this ball does roll really early. That's like a Zed Master, pretty sure. I don't have mine here, but if I did, I would throw it. Maybe pretty close. Okay, let's bump three more to the left. Throw that same speed there. Yeah, for this ball to go left to right like that, you have to really slow the speed down. So you gotta give it time to react. Otherwise, it's gonna roll a little early and not much down lane. So you have to throw it slow if you're gonna swing the ball here. So if you bowl in lots of oil, house conditions where the ratio is pretty high, this is the kind of ball that you wanna be using. It handles oil really well, and it's very smooth and predictable. And you know what's gonna hook. Okay, let's go three more. This is probably the limit here. All the creams. Really nice. Really has to get out to the dry boards though. Down lane to the right. Let's throw another one. Let's move my eyes to the left. See how this ball reacts in the oil. House condition, right? So lots of oil in the middle. We know it's gonna hook. High end ball from Storm. We know it's hooking. Let's move the eyes in. Keep it in the oil a little longer. See, so just move my eyes in two boards. Came up light, a little light swisher. Still struck though, which is good. But you can tell if you're gonna play in the oil, if you're gonna play like the length of the oil down the middle, you gotta use a ball that Hooks a little bit later, and a ball that hooks a little bit more sharp, so. So the X one, should be good here. Okay, 
Yeah, see that one just a little bit more pop down lane, so it's gonna carry a little bit easier when you're playing a little bit tighter. Nova, really good for playing a little bit straighter. Lots of oil, house conditions where you gotta smooth it out. All right, let's head over to the challenge pattern. Question time with Jungle. So we're bowling on house shot and a medium sport shot here while we'll challenge. And uh, I just wanna know what your go-to ball is for the fresh patterns, medium and or house shot. Uh, the Nova here is gonna be pretty good, but my go-to ball is gonna be something like a phase two or the X1 if I'm bowling on something a little bit heavier. Let me know down in the comments. All right, now we're over here on the medium challenge pattern. We got Mercury out 40 feet. Uh, so similar length, similar amount of oil as the house shot over here, just a little bit less forgiving. And because of that, the balls are gonna react a little differently as well. So let's give it a try. The Nova here, fresh oil, probably the best spot for it, I think. So very early rolling and very predictable. So that's what you want on the fresh oil, right? When there's lots of oil and then dry in the back end. You wanna really control that. Let's give it a shot. Similar line of the house shot. The shape is gonna be a little different though. Okay, that shape is looking much better here on the challenge patterns. A little bit less dry boards, which is better for this ball. Look really good, let's throw it again. Yeah, missed the hair to the left and just four pins, so not too bad, very predictable, very smooth. Exactly what you want to see on the fresh. Like, this ball really reminds me of the Zen Master. Let's move a couple left off of that. All right, move three boards left off the last four pin there and kind of a swisher 10 pin. So kind of like in that happy zone right there, a little bit further left and this ball probably won't look that great. Let's try it though. Probably flat 10 city here. That actually looked pretty good. Slowed it down in there a little bit unintentionally. Looked really good. That's probably as far as left as I want to go though with this ball. Let's switch over to the uh, pro top. This is going to hook a little bit more. It's not in the same spot though. Wow, that was a good shot, just like the last one. Yeah, almost four nights. So definitely two to three boards more with the Proton Physics. So if you like the way your Proton rolls, you like the way it reacts, like the way, how much it hooks, Nova's just gonna be one step down from that. Three-ish boards less hook. All right, we'll throw my favorite now, X1. Another good shot. Just hooks a little bit harder down lane than the Proton and the Nova. So I four pin there, but pretty good shot. And definitely work with that if I was doing a tournament. Proton hooks about three boards more than the Nova. And the Nova is about equal hook to the uh, RST1, but uh, just a little bit earlier and smoother for sure. Let's go with three more to left with the Proton. This ball is an absolute beast. Yeah, that ball just out hooks everything. Crazy. That ball's like a year old. Been throwing it for a year. All right, back to the Nova for a couple. All right, same line the Proton just struck on. Just a little lazy down lane compared to the Proton. Got the 10 out though. All right, let's move a couple back to the right. Throw a good one. All right, back to the shop. All right, we're back in the shop after testing out the new Storm Nova. And it's a high-end ball from Storm, which is a hybrid. And so I tested it out against the Proton Physics, most hookiest ball of all time, and the RST X1. This is my go-to high-end ball. This is my tank when I go to tournaments, this and that. So I threw the Nova and it was a little bit earlier and a little bit less overall than the Proton Physics. As you can see in a couple of shots, the Proton got down the lane a little bit further, but it hooked way more, like three to four boards more. And I have about a year's worth of games on this, maybe 50 to 60 games. So this ball is not fresh by any means and it's still out hooked the Nova by a couple boards, which surprised me quite a bit. But then the X1, I would say it hooks a similar amount of boards to the Nova. Uh, just goes down the lane a little bit further and it's a little bit more continuous through the pins where the Nova kind of starts up really early and is really smooth and predictable and really doesn't have that down lane reaction like the X1. Like it is, it's set up perfectly in the three balls here. We got the Proton, hooks the most. We got the Nova a little bit earlier, a little bit smoother, hooks a little less. And then the X1 here, similar hook to the Nova, just a little bit more continuous through the pin deck. I really got like Zen Master vibes from this like really early rolling, really smooth, predictable. And the further left you got with it, the 
the worse it looked. So you really want to stay right. You really want to play straighter with this ball. Just the way it's made, just the way the characteristics of it are. There's no problem with that. That's just the way it is. That's just the way you have to use it. So with that being said, I think this ball would be great for somebody like Barks. He likes to play a nice hard and straight up five, up the boards. Guys with higher ball speeds and a little bit less rev rate, this ball's gonna look really good for you because it's gonna start up early in that mid lane and it's really gonna have that nice smooth continuous hook through the pins. Where compared to something like the X1, if you got like high ball speed and you like to play right, this ball might be a little bit too sharp off the back end. It might go a little bit too far down the lane before it starts to hook. So just because of that, the Nova is gonna be something for those kind of bowlers. So we first, we start on the house shot. Most balls look pretty good on the house shot just because of the wide room for error. But this ball looked really good when I was about third arrow out to about six or seven at the break point and it looked really good. I missed a little bit right, a little bit left and still got me some strikes. So this ball is really good on the fresh, but once it starts to break down a little bit, I'm gonna have to get out of it real quick. Maybe go to the X1 or the X2 if I was bowling for score on the house pattern there. Then we moved over to Mercury. It's a challenge shot, 40 feet. So less room for error and the ball's gonna react a little differently just because the oil is spread on the lane a little bit more even. The Nova still look pretty good on the fresh as it will because it calms down the back end when there's oil and then dry. There's not much traffic on the lane. Uh, the Nova's really gonna smooth that out for you and it's really gonna have that nice smooth continuous shape that you want on fresh oil conditions and then as you can see on the mercury the proton out hooked it again by three to four boards and the x1 went a little bit further down lane than the nova and a little bit more pop at the very end so depends what you're looking for if this ball suits your bag with a nice early even rolling motion if you really need something early this ball is going to be the one for you zen master vibes crux prime vibes Something like that, really early, very rolly, very smooth and predictable. So if that's something that you need, this ball is gonna be really good for you. With that being said, for me personally, this ball just hooks a little bit too early for me for a variety of patterns. So if I'm gonna use this ball, it's gonna be something on really high volume pattern, right? Or something really flat where I gotta play right up the outside and urethane isn't enough. Uh, that's where I'm gonna use this ball. But for the majority of the oil patterns, this ball is just gonna roll a little bit too early for me. And so I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna take the surface down to maybe 4,000 and try that out later. Maybe we'll make a short out of it. So if you have the Proton or the X1, this is a good complement to it. It's just a little earlier than the X1 here. Same amount of boards covered. And it's a little earlier and less than the Proton here. So if that's something you're looking for, if that's something you need in your bag, com complementing the Proton or the X1, then this ball is really gonna be good for you. Thanks for watching the review on the Nova. We got the Spectre coming up next real soon. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what your favorite ball is to throw on the fresh, house patterns, medium challenge patterns, sport patterns, whatever it is, you name it, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks, see you next video.